Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is a bit more of a serious video. Um, I, my goal is to always be open, honest, transparent with everything, including my PED use, but as well personal life and everything. Just throwing out there, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on this particular issue because it's a bit weird. And um, for me to throw this out there, I'm being a bit vulnerable. But I think I'm also being very rational and reasonable. But at the same time, part of this motion that's coming from this, I believe, is the fact that I titrated my dose of NPP up significant notch. And as a result of titrating that dose up, I titrated as well the testosterone and the mastron in the last week. Okay, So I feel like I'm in a bit more of... Um, mood wise a bit more touchy but at the same time I think that I'm able to discern things clearly and by discerning I mean just cutting through all of this all of the bullshit okay like I just see things for what it is and and to be honest I'm a bit upset about something and I'll get right to it it has to do with uh, my girlfriend <clears throat> dealing with women's fucking shit, okay? Now, my girlfriend, she's from Bolivia, and she's a student here in Canada, and we've been going out, we've been boyfriend-girlfriend for five months, okay? And to be honest, there's a lot of great things about her, okay? Her name's America, of all things, just like the country. And, um, but there's also been some kind of weirdness with her on some issues, you know what I mean? It might have been, I always attribute it to just some cultural differences and things like that, okay? But here's the thing, which is she's always been broke as fuck, okay? Like she's been a struggling student, which I've respected her for, the fact that she's worked hard, she come to a different country, she's a student, you know what I mean, paying a lot of money to be here, you know, from Bolivian salary and whatnot, right? Whatever that is, like how much she saved there to come to here, and uh, and she's working jobs. She's working like two jobs, so I'm always, I respect her for that, right? But it's not like she's making much. Like she, to be honest, she's been asking me borrowing money from me, which uh, I do to an extent, but nothing too crazy, like a few hundred bucks here and there. And um, the thing is, she. In recent weeks, wants to buy a fucking car, okay? Because she's getting her license in Canada. Now, I would expect somebody who's from Bolivia who comes to Canada to buy a fucking car would buy like a used one under ten grand, right? Like I make sixty grand a year at least, right now, at least, sometimes like potentially more, and I wouldn't buy a car more than like ten or twelve grand. It's just like, why would you? It's just like, unless you're like getting a, pushing a hundred grand, I would not want to buy something that's like fifty thousand dollars, right? Well, she does. She the car she's looking at right now is like a two thousand twenty three fucking car that's like, uh, with taxes and everything, fifty thousand dollars, right? And that car just blew my mind. I'm like, wait. Maybe your family has a little bit more money than I realize, but wait, that doesn't make sense because, um, you know, you're asking me for money and you can barely live and you're working two jobs and cleaning and shit like that, right? That makes sense, right? Well, today she went for a test drive and she got her paperwork for it and everything and she brought to my attention that she's looking for a somebody to co-sign a fucking fifty thousand dollar car. I'm like, are you are you for real? Like, who, who do you expect to co-sign it? Well, she came to my family's dinner today, and look, and we we ordered some Thai food. My family is veteran, you know, as part of the family, essentially, whatever. And she kind of brought up to my family that indirectly, but it was kind of obvious. My family knew and everything that. She was kind of pitching the idea that they co-sign a fucking car for her. Like, okay. So to go back to this whole kind of roid rage that, you know, I'm potentially filled with, like, the shit I'm taking, right? I just about fucking flipped my lid because this is not something that she pitched to me beforehand. 
or anything like that. And I was like, wait a sec, this is, this seems scammy as fuck in some of my family. My family kind of laughed, they're like, oh yeah, whatever. And for some weird reason in her head, she thinks that she can fucking try to get somebody to co-sign a $50,000 car for her, being a fucking oblivion, like a third world country chick in Canada. Are you for real? Like, where is the mindset? What's the motivation there? Like, and I was questioning her during it, and she got upset of the fact that I was even questioning it. Well, let's go back a few steps. So, when she was talking about she was going to buy a fucking $50,000 car, I was like, oh, you know, like, I make this much money a year, and I would never want to buy a $50,000 car. That, that, that just seems like an outrageous price. And she kind of flipped on me. She's like, what? What? Are you? Why are you saying that? I, like, she got emotional the fact that I was questioning her about buying a $50,000 car. I'm like, I can't laugh in my head. Like, are you serious? So, something weird is there. What do you guys think about that? Like, she's, I think she's just trying to scam me and my family, to be honest. Which is sad. Like, in a way. Like, I invested some time with this chick. But I, I'm just about fucking ready to drop this chick, man. This third world country chick. Because, literally, like, that is total disrespect to me. To, you know, come, my family invites her for a nice dinner and things, and then she tries to pitch on them to try to co-sign a $50,000 car to her? Are you joking? No, that's like a total scam. I see it for what it is. And there was, not, there was no evidence before that something like that would happen. You know what I mean? Uh, per se. But, um... It is what it is. Like, fuck it. Whatever. I had some good times with her. I'm ready to just drop her, like, tomorrow. Seriously. Unless I'm going to have a conversation with her and, and figure out that... Because she, she didn't really do it directly that she was asking directly for the co-signing. But she was... The way that it was brought up and everything, it's like, who does she expect to co-sign it? I don't understand because she doesn't know anybody who's Canadian. She has no credit in Canada. She, <clears throat> that's part of the thing. She needs somebody who, with credit in Canada to co-sign so she has the credit. So, But then, as a result, if she doesn't pay it, well, then who's responsible? That's a scam. Totally. That's like somebody from fucking Thailand. You know, the fucking honey trap bitches. You, you fuck a fucking Thai prostitute you think she thinks you think she's your girlfriend and then you know she ends up turning around just fucking scamming you because you buy a house in thailand and then she just takes it all money and you have no jurisdiction in thailand and you're fucked right well it's kind of the same thing i think i don't want to assume it totally but all roads lead to that it doesn't help the fact that i'm on fucking steroids and now i'm just about fucking flip my lid on this shit right and maybe, but part of me, because I'm pitching this to you guys, is am I just being paranoid? I don't think so. If anything, I think I'm just cutting through the, all this bullshit. And I'm just seeing things for what it is. Like, it's making me think clearly and seeing things for what it is more. You know what I mean? And throughout the dinner tonight, you know, um, I just felt like she was trying to, like, there's a manipulation tactic up upon me, like, on, on certain things. I just didn't get the great idea. So, based on what I'm saying here, well, obviously, why the fuck is Oblivion Chick trying to buy a $50,000 car in Canada when she's a student? That's fucked. And pitching to my family in, in the degree, kind of indirectly, but why else would she bring it up? the whole idea of co-signing something with her. I think she's just trying to lock in something here. That's, that's kind of fucked, to be honest. I'm ready to just drop her right straight tomorrow and be like, done. Seriously, like, uh, as good as she, she is, just in a lot of ways, she's a nice person and everything. It's just like, I can't deal with that type of weirdness in life. You know what I mean? And maybe the steroids will help with that. It's just like, in a way, it might be cold, but it would be direct and fucking assertive and almost aggressive. It might be aggressive a bit, too. It's just like, you're done. And you're done. <laughs> anyway, what do you guys think about that? That's kind of fucked. Well, 
I'm glad to share it with you guys. You know, to be honest, this is kind of my rant. This is my kind of dear diary in a way, and, and I'll share it with people like about my steroid cycle and things like that. But you know, when it comes to men's health and when it comes to men's situations and like, things like this, I think it's important to for me to share and uh, to get the feedback. So please give me some feedback. I know probably what a lot of you're going to say, uh, but I just want to end this with the fact that, you know, a lot of other ways she's really good. So it's kind of like, you know, but is she just scamming me, my family? That's weird. If that's the case, like totally, then she's declaring war on me in a way. If that's the case, like she's, if you, she's using me, then I might be a bit ruthless in my response. So uh, I'm thinking about a way to test her on that. You know what I mean? To maybe, I don't, I don't know, to bring it up in a way, suggesting the idea of co-signing and see what her true intentions are, if that makes sense. What, what's your what's your advice on that? Well, how should I approach this from here on in? Thanks, guys, for watching. I love you all. I love everybody's questions and comments, and being a part of my channel means a lot to me. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.